Okay, so this is chapter 7, part 4. And when we were last listening attentively to Chipper Jabber, we were talking about um, decimal reduction time and making bacteria die, and then we talked about some ways to get that to happen. Autoclaves make bacteria die. They sterilize very easily. They can kill endospores and they can kill everything else. Pasteurization um, doesn't make everything die. Dry heat sterilization um, doesn't necessarily make, or it does, can make everything die, but it takes longer and it, you have to have a higher temperature. Um, filtration doesn't make everything die, but it can remove things. Um, and then there are ways to, rather than get everything to die, you can get um, everything to stop growing by putting things in the fridge or the freezer or um, to apply salts or sugars um, and cause osmotic pressure to restrict growth rather than making bacteria die. Radiation is another effective way of getting microbes to die. And you can see here that uh, we have a diagram from your text. This is 7.5 of the spectrum of electromagnetic radiation. And it includes visible light. If you're not familiar with electromagnetic radiation, it's a concept we covered briefly in Chapter 3. And hopefully you haven't forgotten it. Um, this scale right here shows the all the spectrum of electromagnetic radiation from visible light to ultraviolet to infrared to x-rays and microwaves and gamma rays and radio waves. As we, uh, the strongest of all the wavelengths are the ones that have the shortest wavelengths, and those are UV followed by x-rays, and then the strongest of all are gamma rays. If we go larger than, if we go past red light, we go to the infrared. Infra means below red. Ultraviolet means above violet, um, and that is above in energy, and infrared is below in energy. Infrared makes a nice remote control for your television set. It makes a nice heat lamp for your french fries at the at the burger joint. Microwaves can um, can uh, heat water, um, but um, but it's the ones on the left that are the really powerful ones. UV causes tissue damage, gives you a sunburn. X-rays go right through your body. Gamma rays, we associate those with nuclear bombs. So that is electromagnetic radiation. And a lot of this is strong enough to kill microbes um, and is used as such. So we can see here ultraviolet, that this is sort of an ultraviolet light gauntlet for the treatment of sewage. So you homogenize your sewage and then you expose it to ultraviolet light. The microbes uh, die rapidly. Um, ultraviolet light can kill lots of things. Here, I'm going to pause this for a second. So you can see here ultraviolet light being used to uh, kill microbes in your camping water bottle as you go out into the wilderness. And conceivably, if you go to another country where water treatment is and is, is reliable as it is in the United States, um, you can get, you can buy one of these. This is not an endorsement. There's lots of these particular things, but uh, um, safe drinking water anywhere. Yeah, so these are, um, and that is pretty effective. Uh, it only takes a few seconds to, for ultraviolet light to kill microbes. Irradiation can also be used to kill microbes. Many people worry about irradiation because, uh, um, you're bombarding your food with radioactivity, or you're with radiation. Now, let me let me qualify that. And when you do that, your food people might worry that it becomes radioactive. It doesn't um, any more than 
then I become radioactive when I get out of the tanning booth. Uh, so, so that's irradiation. Um, let's see. Radiation, though, doesn't kill everything. Here's Deinococcus radiodurans. Um, this is a extremely tough microbe. It hardly matters how much radiation you can give it. Um, as you, if you read here, um, it's it's uh, it's a pretty tough customer. Um, what about microwaves? Those are radiation. Do we expect those to kill bacteria? Would you kill bacteria? Would you trust your microwave oven to kill bacteria? Well, microwave ovens can kill by heat. Um, in as much as microwave ovens can raise the temperature of food, um, then the temperature can make the microbes die if, if on your food. But um, that is not a reliable way to get microbes to die. The microwave radiation itself doesn't do the killing. The temperature does the killing. And if you've ever had one of those microwave burritos scalding on the outside, frozen on the inside, the frozen inside didn't get a lethal treatment of anything. Um, so uh, relying on the heat generated by microwaves is not uh, a good idea. Here's, here's uh, something else that was, uh, this is a, something that was thought of pretty recently, and I think by a rather young girl. This is soda, solar water disinfection. And uh, this is the idea that, that using sunlight can provide fairly clean, safe drinking water to people who lack access to it. What you need is a plastic bottle and a source of clear water if not uh, if not perfectly sterile water you have uh, plastic water bottles with this particular recycle sign this is polyethylene then uh, and you and you fill up the water bottle with clear water you can get sterility in that uh, in that bottle and you can have safe water okay which is the limitation of the autoclave? Um, everybody think about this one. <laughs> Gotta hear the end. All right. Long time to achieve sterilization. Long time is kind of a flimsy term, but no, that's not it. Kill endospores? Yes, they can. Here's your answer. Cannot be used with heat-sensitive materials. Um, again, eggs are heat-sensitive materials, and if you autoclave them, you have hard-boiled eggs. So uh, that is a major limitation of the autoclave. Okay, and uh, with that, I'm going to leave it for one more lecture coming up later.